My name is Chantal Odron. I am the curator at the Tybee Island Marine Science Center. Today I'm going to speak to you about sharks. In coastal Georgia, we have numerous shark species. It's suggested that we have 13 inshore species and 30 offshore species, varying from great white sharks a little further off coast to bull sharks in the rivers. We also have numerous juvenile species in the salt marsh. Uh, we have many black tip sharks and Atlantic sharp nosed sharks that are found um, here locally as well. In nature, um, it's always good to be respectful of others in nature. We're all connected in this ecosystem, um, and so I think it is absolutely smart to be well aware when you're coming out to the beach. Um, considering the billions of people that are in the water, the number of bites or attacks is quite low considering um, the frequency that which we are near them when we're in the water. Um, Worldwide right now, uh, in 2014, we have all of our data coming from the shark attack file. It's done by the University of Florida and their Natural History Museum. And so we had last year in 2014 only three fatalities as far as sharks are concerned. Um, we also in the state of Georgia have never had a fatal attack. On record since 1958, we have had 13 attacks or bites in the state of Georgia, none of which were fatal. Um, I say bites in addition to attacks because sharks are very smart animals. They have a lot of sensory that we do not have. So they have electromagnetic sensory and what they do when feeding is one very quick large exploratory bite. And so most of what we are finding um, as far as the incidents and when they're reported is that the sharks are just taking a quick bite, realizing it's not who they thought it was and moving on. We always mention too that when you come to the beach to never fear the beach, right? This is a beautiful escape and, and a peaceful place that what I always suggest is to never swim near the piers because of course there's fishermen. It's illegal to chum or shark fish off the Tybee Pier, but of course we still from time to time will get a two to three footer pulled in. Lots of little babies, only about one foot. Um, another thing that we um, often will advise is to not swim in the inlets because the inlets are where the rivers are coming out into the ocean and so it's much deeper in these areas at the north and south tip of the island. So you would be um, uh, coming across a much larger animal at that point. In coastal Georgia, we have a very large tidal range. We swing from high to low tide, 10 to 15 feet of water. Um, and so what that provides at low tide on our beaches is a lot of tide pools. So if you are weary of getting into the water, which is only respectful, um, than to hang out in a tide pool, perhaps. Also, 65% of most attacks or bites are with um, surfers and paddles, <laughs> uh, paddle boarding. And so we do find that there's a definite trend to this. The reason being is when you have a board underneath you, the silhouette from underneath looks very similar to um, seals or sea turtles. So. We are also in sea turtle nesting season. It's another reason why we see a lot of increased shark activity in the summertime because this is part of their um, diet, sea turtles. If you so find yourself in a situation where you are near a shark, um, it's always advised to get back to shore as close or as soon as possible as well as um, a punch to the snout can also be effective in um, deterring their attention from you. 